Hello guys, welcome to Unstoppable Ayurved YouTube channel. In today's lecture, we will understand the specific meaning of the word Lakshan and synonyms explaining Ayu and also the Lakshan of Ayu. The components of Ayu such as body, the shelter of the soul, the senses that gives knowledge of the various objects of the world, mind, the controller of all senses and the soul which gives consciousness to all the parts of the body. Today, we will understand these four elements. If this question is asked in exam, then what can be written in it and what study material can be made for that, we will also understand that. Composition of Ayu Maharshi Charak has described the Ayu in the first chapter of the Sutrasthan of Charak Samhita. Maharshi Charak said that Shari Rendriya Satvatma Sanyogo Dhari Jivitam the union of body, sense organ, sattva and the soul is known as Ayu. So let's try to present all these elements one by one briefly. Sharir Asmin Shastre Panch Mahabhuta Shariri Samvayaha Purushaha Ityuchate Tasmin Kriya So Adhishthanam The body is is a wonderful creation made up of Panch Mahabhut. The body is the shelter of the soul. Shariram Sattva Sangyam Cha Vyadhinam Ashrayomataha Maharshi Charak said that the body is also the shelter of the disease. From the treatment point of view, the body is a primary factor to be treated. It is because even in mental disease, the body is affected in the end. It is the main duty of a doctor to understand the normalcy, increase and decrease of dosha, dhatu and mal, etc. in the living body and to treat them. Upaman of Sharir Nagari nagarasyeva rathasyeva rathi yatha svasari rasya medhavi krutyeshu avahito bhavet The body has been given the analogy of a whole city in Ayurveda Shastra. As different parts of the society join together and form a city in the same way, Panchabhutatmak body consisting of the various characteristic feature of all the Panch Mahabhut. Maharshi Charak is pretty clear while explaining Sharir or Kshetra by saying that Iti Kshetram Samuddhishtam Sarvam Avyakta Varjitam. All the transformations of Panch Mahabhut, including Indriya and Man, are also considered as the Kshetra. The Sushrut Samhita also explains the various characteristics expressed by Panch Mahabhut in the body that sound, the organ of sound, all vacant places, and the actions separating things belong to Akash Mahabhut. Touch sensation, organ of touch, all kind of actions, movement of all body parts and levity belongs to Vayu Mahabhut. Vision, organ of sight, color, the feeling of heat, brilliance of complexion, digestion, anger, quickness in action and bravery belongs to Tej Mahabhut. Test, organ of test, all liquids, heaviness, coldness, anxiousness and rethas belong to Jal Mahabhut. Smell and the organ of smell, all things with size, shape and heaviness belong to Prithvi Mahabhut. How the body is formed by combination of such merely opposite natural substances? It has also been told in Sushrut Samhita that Panchabhutatmak Sharir is formed by the mutual help, cooperation and interpenetration of all Panch Mahabhut. Indriya Due to the ability to accept specific Mahabhut, five senses like Shabdendriya, Sparshendriya, etc. have been described in Ayurveda Shastra with the predominance of each Mahabhut with its specific qualities. Our Maharshi understood very well that the senses are automatically included while talking about the body. But because of being a tool of attaining knowledge, it has been given a specific separate place as a component of Ayu. Mahashi Charak said that the five senses made up of five Mahabhut, each sense 
has one dominant mahabhut are inferred from their five respective actions which serve as indriya for the manifestation of the intellect why the senses only grasp one specific type of subject maharshi shushrut said that because of its niyat and tulya yoni quality the senses are able to perceive only its specific meaning while philosophy considers the senses to be derived from ahankar ayurved has also accepted the penta elemental nature of the senses this is related to indriya adequate receiving of its object by the senses is called health and hina ati and mithya cause diseases the diseases which arises from the improper receiving are called endrik vyadhi by maharshi charak man satvam manah in the context of the component of the body the mind has been described as satva although the man is included under the 11 senses but due to its special importance the description of the man has also been told separately as a component of the body the man is the one who establishes the relationship between the atma from one body to another the man regulates the process of grasping object through the senses as well as regulates its own actions the man has been told to be the three types sattva raj and tam man is the cause of presence and absence of knowledge that is why it is written by maharshi charak that lakshana manaso gyanasya bhava bhava evacha maharshi charak also describe the functioning of man by saying that object are perceived with the help of indriya and man this perception is purely mental in the beginning while the practical advantages or disadvantages are ascertained thereafter the intellect which determines the specific properties of the object impels the individual to speak or act intelligently the soul along with man and four subtle bhut transmigrate from one body to the another according to past deeds the determination of all the things that it should be done or should not be done is depends on the proper functioning of the man if the man does not work properly then there can be many different type of diseases arising due to pragya parada man as companion of atma man is associated with raj and tam while all dosh are caused by lack of samyak gyan the cause of movement and inclination of atma from one body to another is sadosh man and balwan purva karma atma atma is the most important among all the components of the body giving life to the body the base of knowledge the cause of chetna and resides in the body as kshetragya at the time of union of shukra and shonit it enters to embryo subject to karma and can only be known by inference maharshi charak also emphasizing the presence of atma saying that shariram hi gate tasmin sunyagaram achetanam panch bhutav sheshatvat panchatvam gatam uchyate us departure from the body leaves the body only a panch bhautik sharira and does not attain a notion of ayu for this reason in the absence of the atma the body would be called only the panch bhautik sharira the atma acquires the action and enjoys the fruit of the action in the absence of atma there is no activity either sukh or dukh sanyog after understanding this four component it is also necessary to understand the presence of the combination of this four and so acharya also explains the sanyog by saying that being connected with each other in proper way is called sanyog and this sanyog is life although 
the combination of all these elements is momentary or impermanent. Still, IU is known only by the continuity of the combination. The absence of Sanyog is death because there is an absence of a combination of this four in a dead body. Synonyms or Lakshan of IU Various type of Lakshan are asked in exam such as what is the Lakshan of IU, what is the Lakshan of Ayurved, what is the Lakshan of Dravya. Therefore, how to understand all this Lakshan and if a question is asked, then how to answer it? And what are the topics that need to be written in it? To do so, first of all, it is necessary to understand the word Lakshan, through which we can understand anything or by which we can understand the specialities associated with that certain thing. We get to know the form, quality, nature, etc. of that thing is called Lakshan. If we try to understand this with an example related to Ayurved, such identification mark which give us a knowledge about the special properties or specialities of Ayu can be called Lakshan of Ayu. In short, through the Lakshan of any object, we get to know about the various characteristics of that object. In the same way, Ayu can be understood by the attribute or whatever is going to explain the properties of Ayu like its nature, measurement, etc. should be considered as a Lakshan of Ayu. Sharirendriya Sattvatma Sanyogo Dhari Jivitam Nityagash Chanu Bandascha Pariyaye Rayu Ruchyate In this sutra, said by Maharshi Charak, the Lakshan of Ayu has also been described as a synonym of Ayu. The speciality of Ayurved Shastra is that it opens up its specific meaning according to the person who understands it. Although in this verse, the components involved in the composition of Ayu and the synonym of Ayu have been told, but if we understand the meaning of each synonym given for the Ayu, then this synonym also seems to be indicative of the Lakshan of Ayu. This verse is enough to understand the Ayu and by this we can easily understand the Lakshan of Ayu. The combination of this Sharir, Indriya, Sattva and Atma is called Ayu. While explaining its Lakshan, Maharshi Charak further writes in the Sutra that Dhari, Jeevit, Nityaga and Anubandha are synonyms of Ayu. Dharayati Shariram Putitam Gantum Na Dadati Iti Dhari The meaning of word Dhari is the one who holds the body, that is, the one who does not allow the body to decompose. So long as there is a proper combination of this four in the body, till then there is no putrid in the body due to the separation of the soul after death in any living being decomposing occurs which we know already. Jivayati Pranan Dharayati Iti Jivitam The meaning of word Jivit is the one who holds the life force in the body. That is, as long as there is a life in the body, it will be called alive. And only because of this four, life remains in the body. Nityam Sharirasya Kshanikatvena Gachati Iti Nityagah The meaning of word Nityag is that which is continuously moving or that which has continuous movement. The living body is the result of various type of biochemical processes going on continuously. This continuity is called life. Despite being constantly dynamic, it is the nature of the body to keep getting weaker every moment. Anubadnati Ayu Parasharidadi Sanyoga Rupataya Iti Anubandha. The word Anubandh is used in two ways. One meaning is to connect the process of transmigration of Atma from one body to another body. And the second meaning is that which keeps the body connected from the time of infancy to the end of the life. In 30th chapter, 
this word chetananuvritti is also mentioned as synonyms of ayu chetananuvritti iti chaitanya santanah chetananuvritti means continuity of consciousness starting from pregnancy till death period is called ayu if consciousness is not there then it is considered as the absence of ayu as long as this lakshan of ayu are visible in any living being that period is called ayu because this different synonymous words indicate the life span from a different point of view this time period can be called ayu for that specific living being thus the synonym which indicates the holding nature of ayu the liveliness of ayu continuous transformation occurring during the life span and the maintenance of this sanyog should also be understood as lakshan of ayu